And I've never wanted anything more than for you to be my wife. <laughs> now or never. I knew about, you know, the real life of Jen and Saul and, and, and their viral video that, that went out and just the support that, that it had for, for them uh, to have their wedding. But, you know, you didn't get the tidbits and, and the details. And then reading the script, Todd Rosenberg uh, did an incredible job just navigating through, through their, that moment, this little slice of life that really uh, felt so larger than life. Um, and you know, you cry, you laugh, and then you have moments that you start to self-reflect about your own life and, and just uh, an enormous amount of gratitude. Um, so there's, there's just so many things. And I think, uh, I think when making this f film uh, it, collectively, it was really emotional for, I think, not just for the cast, but also for the crew as well. Yeah, and it's just so incredibly human. And I think that's the thing that I love the most about it is, it's so human to be laughing joyously in one moment and sobbing the next. And I'm, I'm a big feeler, I feel a lot. And so <laughs> the opportunity to jump into this role in this world where it, that was filled with so much joy and sorrow and emotion, but as Harry was saying, is so incredibly life affirming and about community and about marrying your best friend. It was from the moment I read the script, I knew I needed to be a part of it. You guys are the real deal. I have never known a couple whose love is as deep as Jen and Saul's. Oh my God, this is hard. I know. <laughs> Just say your vows, man. The movie's not going to work if we don't feel the chemistry between the two main characters. When did you know? Did you know one another beforehand? Did you spend a week together before cameras rolled just to make sure that you could uh, kind of create the kind of feel that you needed to, to have for the film? We didn't know each other before we started shooting. We had met once before at a different audition. Um, and then we met the chemistry read. And from the moment Harry and I read together, I just knew and could see what a unique and special soul he was. He was one of the only people who came in and really understood not only kind of the humor and the twinkle in Saul's eye, but also understood the incredible amount of the depth of sadness and sorrow and pain that one would go through when experiencing something like this. Um, we were lucky enough that we got to sit next to each other on the airplane. And then we had a week of rehearsals. And even through shooting, we every day after shooting 12 hour days, we would go back to where we were staying and huddle up in one of our apartments and eat ramen and talk through the script and beat it out um, and and improvise and and really try to form kind of as you were saying that comfort and that bond and I think I was very lucky that it's very easy to fall in love with Harry Shum Jr. so <laughs> well Harry what did you take away from that process when I met Jess uh on the chemistry read, I mean, I met her once in an audition, but it was more like say the lines to each other. It wasn't like we got to talk, but same thing with the chemistry read. I, I we introduced ourselves and then um, we got into like the one of the horror scenes of, of the movie. And what struck me was how supportive of uh, she was. And, you know, and I came away from that feeling the most comfortable that I've ever felt in an audition room, which if everyone knows auditioning is one of the most uncomfortable things to do. Yeah actor and and i came away just struck with like first how talented and amazing that jess was as an actress but not just that as a human being i felt like her soul uh really at that moment of, of whatever five ten minutes that that we were in there and and from then on i knew i was like i i have to be part of this and luckily uh, we were able to to do that and then have like really fun, dumb, and also like really great deep conversations on the plane. And that really, really helped uh, for us to just get to know each other. Um, but I think a lot, a lot of it is, is said uh, with the stuff that is unsaid as well. So I, I, I hope that that came through uh, for the film, but I have nothing but so much respect for, for Jess uh, as not just an actress, but as a human being. I'm no widow soul. I am your bride. And that is all you're allowed to see. 
Jessica, the story is based on two people from Toronto, where I'm sitting right now. Um, has the has Jen's family and and Saul's family seen the film? And if so, do you know the reaction? I have talked with Jen extensively. I was lucky enough to meet her before filming, talked to her throughout filming. Um, she's just such an incredibly wonderful human. And I know that she has seen the, fi the film. Her mother has seen the film. They both loved it. They were incredibly touched. Jen told me there were moments during the movie where her mom would turn to her and say, oh my God, that's so you, or that's so like Saul. And I think that what felt the most important to Harry and I and our cast and crew was to really capture how unique and special and once in a lifetime their love was. Um, and so I, I think Jen feels like we did that and I hope that the rest of the world does as well.